Let's get this rehearsal started. This is your places call. Places, everyone. Has anyone seen my laptop? Are very 
very social animals and have many different types of vocalizations. Did you know that sea lions get their name from their loud roar? <coughs> Good job there, Seymour. And sea lions are packed with muscles that help them to catch their prey and evade predators like the killer whale and, oh, oh, the sharks! Come on, Seymour, let's go over here. Uh, and that is called too much sea lion science stuff. Well, wait, science isn't even a word. Um, no, but it should be because it's fun. Hashtag science Well, Mara, this stuff is important to share with our guests. Isn't it, Mr. Director? Yes, it is. Nicely done, Seymour. Clyde, do you think you two can handle the next section? Sea lions. Where are they found? Ooh, uh, <gasps> Great idea, Clyde. Yes, Mr. Director, sir. We got this. Uh, sea lions, where are they found? Where are they found? Well, Clyde, you and I, we better find some sea lions. So why don't you follow me and stay close behind.
care for manatees in the wild through rescue and rehabilitation. However, today, manatees face significant challenges going forward. Takara is our oldest member at 33 years old. Takara is also known as the matriarch of our pod, which means that she is the leader. These whales trust us, and they take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we're able to teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. Trainers Amy and Ceci are joining us now to demonstrate some of those for all of you. One of the very first behaviors we teach these whales is called a fluke present, in which the whales will present their tail flukes to their trainers. Now in this position, not only can we get a good look at their entire bodies, but we also have access to the easy to see shallow veins on the white underside of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians can then collect blood samples from those veins at least once a month. And these whales are conditioned to remain calm throughout the entire procedure. Throughout today's presentation, you may see the trainers giving the whales back massages, pectoral flipper massages, or even tail rubs. Killer whales have very sensitive skin, and this is a great way for us to build our relationships with them. Collecting blood is just one way that we can ensure that these animals are healthy. Another important diagnostic tool that we can use is how much each animal weighs. We weigh these whales once a week by asking them to slide out of the water onto a killer whale size scale. Takara is demonstrating that behavior, and as all of you get a good look at her, you'll notice that there's still a large portion of her body in the water, from her dorsal fin on her back all the way down to her tail flukes. That is called the penumbral, and it's made up of several large, powerful muscles that can easily weigh over several hundred pounds. So in order to record an accurate weight, we will ask her to lift her head and tail up and out of the water. 
And that is how we know, as of this past Monday, Takara here is weighing in at over 4,600 pounds. It's important to weigh all of our whales to make sure our whales, like Sakari and Kamea, our use of vocalizations is just one of them. So James has joined us on the other side to help us demonstrate. So go ahead and give Takara that first hand signal. crashing back down, that it may be a way of making their presence known. You see, sound waves travel four and a half times faster through water than it does through air. So when a killer whale leaps out and comes crashing back down, that can be heard for miles.
Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you are joining us today.